this video, I will be talking about how you can get yourself a custom cursor. A lot of people have been asking me in the comments and DMing me on Discord about how to get one. So today, I will be showing you guys just that. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial, so make sure you guys watch till the end and get the results you actually want. So what you guys want to do is Google up Osu Spinner and enter. Make sure you don't click on the first link, but you click on the second link because the second one is the cursor. So once you click on that, it's going to bring you to this page where you have a lot of options, like as many cursors as you want. So you guys can just pick one um, you like, for example, this one. For this video, I'm just going to use this one because this one is a simple cursor. So what you guys want to do, right, you, you click on the cursor, then you right click, copy image, and then you close this. You don't need this anymore. Next, you have to go to this website called photop.com. Once you get in there, just click Control V and you paste the cursor. And here you can customize the cursor. You just double tap on the background image. You click on what uh, color overlay. You can change the color. You can make it blue. You can make it pink. Basically, any color you like, right? Or if you want this black um, circle to be white or something like that, and the border to be black you can also do that here basically by um clicking on this magic wand clicking on the um black hole copy pasting it clicking on this color overlay and then making it white and then outer glow make that white as well it makes it better so now it's white and what you want to do is right you want to click on stroke and now the outer lines are black just like my uh my main cursor this is not exactly how I did it. I chose another cursor in um, Oso Skinner. But like that's up to you guys, right? You can uh, basically choose any cursor you like. So you just do that. And um, then you just click on export as PNG and then you save the image. Once you have saved the image, you have to go to block strap. You have to open it, click configure settings, go to mods, open mods folder. And once you get in there, you should have these two um, folders. If you don't have it, then you can just make it and name it exactly like this. And make sure you put capitals where it's necessary. Like for example, client settings, the C has to be a capital and the S has to be a capital. But for today, we don't need this. We only need content because that's where you have to put the cursor in. So first you click on content. You should have this uh, folder called textures inside of content. If you don't have it, then once again, make it. Click on textures. And then you, you should have these two. Um, mine are already placed, like my main cursor, for example. My main cursor is already in there. Um, this one right here, as you can, can see, this uh, little dot, it's already in there, as you guys can see. Um, this is actually the mouse um, locked cursor, which is actually um, the shift lock one, to be honest. Like, this is, this is just a third person one, right? And once you go in first person, this automatically changes into a plus, right? Like on the cross plus thingy. And then once you click on sh like control in Bed Wars, then it changes to the dots. That's that's what you guys have been asking me. How you how do you get this first person cursor? This is actually not the first person. This is actually the shift lock one. Like if you go first person, this is actually a cross. But if you click on control, it changes to shift lock. So that's what you guys want to do. So you want to go here and you want to paste um, the cursor. For example, um, you want to paste you want to paste the one we created right you want to paste this one you just want to paste it in here and then what you want to do is rename it to mouse locked cursor and cross mouse icon that's what you want to name it to i've already done it so i'm not going to do it again but this is basically the um, first person or shift lock cursor but this is the main cursor you want to click on cursors then uh, create a folder called keyboard and mouse or um you may already have it click on that and then uh, this should be like a normal cursor like the one I'm using right now um, this normal uh, PC cursor thingy but if you want to replace it you just want to paste the image once again so I'm gonna paste that in there and rename it to uh, arrow for cursor and make sure you um, add uh, capitals where necessary a f and c have to be capital and here a and c because if we don't do it it's not gonna work you have to make sure you do everything right um and once you've done that uh, you can just close out you can close out here 
and just click save once you've done that all you want to do is restart roblox i'm not gonna do it because mine's already um saved up it's not gonna change anything so but once you've done that you should be able to get a cursor like this i have and you should be able to get a shift lock one not a first person one you're still gonna keep the cross though you cannot change that i think because um, i tried a lot it doesn't work yeah you can still change the shift lock one so um yeah um that's basically it now i'm gonna show you guys some gameplay with the new cursor With that. 